Welcome back. This is Unfinished. I am your host, SK Gitonga, and today we are talking about saving culture among the youth. On to our next question. Do you think Kenyan youths have embraced the modern saving culture? Let me know what you think in the comment section at Y254 Unfinished. I'd say a lot are willing to save, but Sasa, the economy, economy, penye metufikishan, had kuna pesa, kuna pesa at all. I'm a Kenyan youth, and I can say personally I have. And I believe most of, most have. I have a couple of friends who are in the same chama group with, with so I can say that uh, Kenya Indians have embraced chama because it's a saving, you know, saving opportunity for us. So, yeah. No, not really. I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, one because uh, youth always want to spend. Hmm? They want to spend money. So telling the youth about saving through circles or chamas, really to them doesn't make any, any sense. So, but now they should be encouraged and maybe uh, public awareness done so that they get to understand uh, the importance of now joining or registering to the circles and chamas. And of course now that will encourage now the saving culture. Yeah, so now that goes to the first question. They think it's old fashioned because of the way the ladies and children use the money that is in circles. Some use it for halots, some use it for drugs, some use it for you know, prostitution and all that. But the righteousness that comes with the children of this age, they use it to help others like the poor. Yeah. Most I have not seen that in most youth. I've seen mostly with the women, with the men. I think some of youths are discouraged from saving or the kind of they are not aware, they are not well trained. If you get there are only a few, and that is because of uh, illiteracy. They have not been trained. Even they have not been trained in various circles, in various associations. So you find, uh, to my view, youths, uh, they, don't, they are not in many associations or you know, saving, uh, saving platforms. And that's why you can find over expenditure, you can find depressions, just due to they, don't, they are illiterate. They are not in any association of saving, so youths, and they really need to be awakened. I don't think so, because babu, because kama personally ninge kwa mimi as a youth ni ambayo kusave kwa circles and nini nini. Mimi neza si as save kwa circles, because babu, sometimes you try to save, but unapata na kwa emergency, nini nini. Unataka hiyo pesa haraka haraka na hiyo ku save kwa sako inataka procedure uko na process ya kuenda tena kuchukua and everything hiyo ku save kwa sako I can talk of chamas and sakos they can use as well other than using uh, saving in mpesa or mshwari the reason why i prefer sakos uh, than mpesa this is the reason the, the, the circle ni partnership. So, where you reach the amount, I'm always obtain, I'm always spend. Remember, we are youths. So, when I have a girlfriend, I'm attacking my time. I come to the mind because I want to. Na maybe I'm attacking Kushika. Yani, as in, una sema acha ni ache kujiban sana. So, you have kutoa kama ilikuwa impesa. Ama lock in emshuri. Una fa una toa the at least muokole. Ama maybe unataka ata muokole. At the same case, you want to go for an out with your girlfriend, boyfriend, vitu kama hivyo. But when you use a circle, kuna, you wait until a certain limit so that you can use for to invest on a certain business, vitu kama hivyo. Uh, there is this issue of uh, these circles and these chamas having problems where you find that the treasurer or people in that circle uh, steal from the company. Mona. So there are some malicious things that are occur in this group. So we find that youths are prefer to work towards that. So they want just to save it in, uh, in their own way. So they fear the issue of, let's say, it, oh, treasurer, maybe, ama the accounts, are, the, the calculations are not adding up, you see, so things like that. Yeah. Kenyan youths have not impressed saving at all. And I'm going to put categorically clear there are two reasons, or some three reasons, as to why they don't impress saving. One is that they don't have anything to sell. 
to begin with. They don't have anything and they don't have anywhere to get the savings from. So they, they, instead of saving, they're striving to meet their daily needs. And they're striving to meet their daily needs out of nothing. So uh, uh, a man of sober minds can just understand that there is no saving to such a person. And again, the another reason why youths are not saving is simply because the government itself has not given, uh, has not enlightened youths on saving. You realize that the government has institutions to deal with uh, saving, like the cooperatives, the, those chamas, but instead of even uh, educating a youth on, to, on how to save, it is busy daily encouraging people to give tax. So taxation out of no saving, you realize that it's not going to help such a youth himself or herself. So another problem is because the, the government has not taken her absolute time to give a, a civic education in, in terms of saving to such a youth. Another full reason is because of unemployment. Because you realize that currently, as I speak right now, maybe I'm working in an institution, an institution that has very few youths. So out of the 50 youths that are in the institution, maybe 40 are not saving anything, simply because they, they have many duties and they have little income. So to me, uh, I can say that the reason as to why they're not saving, or the reason as to why maybe this uh, gentleman does not have skills to save, is because the government is not taking an obligation to give a civic duty, sorry, civic education to such a person to save. So culturally, it happens that it will, it will carry on. The generations from, uh, from now and the generations to come are going to lack skills because the government has not impact on educating such a person on how to save actually. Production of cryptocurrencies, the availability of funds in terms of the youth fund, in terms of the AGPO, that's the Ag access to government uh, procurement opportunities, those are the, some of the advantages because they build their credit score. And when we use the, um, the example of the Hustler Fund, as a, just as an example, you can see I have a, a good number or a case study that refers to the a, a sector of youth that uh, has been able to save and start this bidding business and the small smoky business. And as such, I believe I can quote one book in that line. The richest man in Babylon, it says, pay yourself fast. So I believe a specific a uh, fraction of your income should really go to saving and this is why you should save. Personally, I feel like many Kenyan youths are taking part in the modern saving culture by also taking part in a variety of services like banking themselves, mobile banking apps and chamas. On to our next question, why do you think parents shy away from teaching the youths about the saving culture? Let me know what you think. So number one, from my own perspective, maybe they don't save themselves. You cannot start telling somebody to do something you've not done. So that could be one reason. Then secondly, maybe they think we are mature enough to know that we should save. We should save for the future, we should save for ourselves, we should save for, you know, for a lot of reasons. So they think we are mature enough to, to think ourselves we should save. Then number three, <clears throat> maybe they are waiting for us to learn to learn from our own experiences, to learn that So maybe those are the reasons I can think of. Parents have this certain element of jealousy that comes when their children become richer than them. But for my case, my, my father becomes a little bit uh, skeptical when I don't become rich. So I believe it depends on the parent that you have. Do they shy away really? I think it's just not... Um, at the top of their minds, I don't think, okay, or maybe they are too um, immersed in whatever they are doing, because really shy, is shy the word? I don't think so. <laughs> I really doubt if being shy about it is the word. I just, maybe we do not engage them on that level. Yeah, I like to think so. Parents are uh, shy away from us in terms of encouraging us on savings because we are too demanding, we are too overspending. You can't compare a current youth with that with the youth of the past. Now the demands are high. That's why you find a parent. When he sees you, like even I make a phone call to your mom right away. Oh, mom, I need 2,000. Then she'll be like, ah. And even she can decide to keep quiet because we are over-demanding. We are overspending. 
That's why parents are shying away from us. So we need to regulate, we need to have a financial budget, we need to have a training that we can manage our finance as you, so that parents they will not shy away from us. Yeah, so overspending and over-demanding is what makes our parents really shy away from us. Personally, I feel like uh, most parents do give financial advice to their children and those that don't happen to probably be those that do not save themselves because Kitambo, we had like various means of saving and now we have technology and they're still trying to get used to it. My second point is that uh, since we were young, so I am assuming they still have that perception that uh, this kind of information is probably something we're not ready for. My third point is that they probably think that we are getting taught about uh, finances in school, which we are actually not. We have come to the end of the show. I hope you enjoyed what we had in store for you. I am your host, SK Gitonga. Till next time. Bye.